Okay, now let's focus on the second problem, right? This is a compared to the previous one. This is a really a simple problem, right? Basic range space or the basis vectors that scan the range space, right? We are determining basis vectors. All right, this is range space of a matrix, and this is null space for the. Sometimes they say rank space as well, right? Okay, and this is null space, right? Okay, or Kernoff, Kernoff, and I guess they say image space as well. I guess, right? Not hundred percent sure on that, by the way. Okay, let me continue. So let's focus on the range space. For that, this is like without even thinking about it, right? Just do reduce echelon form procedure, right? Here, let me just get that. This is the given matrix, right? Let's do some basic elementary row operations. Right? If you get this, what is this? We computed such that the pivot entries are one, right? And that's great. That's great. And here, these are the pivot columns, and this is first column, and this is second column, and that immediately implies that right you are going to i mean i'm 100 percent sh uh, sure of course that is like the most hand wavy explanation you 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 can get or i'm aware of that right whenever you see that first and second column right you determine the determine the pivot pivot columns of the given matrix right and we determine this is like first and second columns and then you are going to write first and second column of the original matrix and you're going to say 10 10 of here 1 1 0 right and 2 1 0 you are going to write something like this. This is script R, right? You can write here script R to generate this on LaTeX or Microsoft, right? MS document. So yes, that is the case. And let's check the null space of the given A matrix, right? Here, this is the null space definition. Here, this is the definition, right? And we will, for the ease of notation or ease of operation, I will say, right? Here, this is the reduce echelon form, right? We will write down this and we will just compute x1, x2, and x3, right? Okay. Here. This is the case, right? And that implies this, right? Okay. We can use ref of A instead of the original A, right? Okay. And and I'm looking at this. Here, you can write x1, x2, and x3, right? From this, you can say x1 plus 5x3 equals 0, x2 minus 2x3 equals 0, right? And you will say x1 equals minus 5x3, and from this, x2 equals 2x3, right? And we know x3 equals x3, right? By using those, right? You will write this and then this. And just factor out x3. And this, ladies and gentlemen, 
vector is your only vector that spans <coughs> for null space, right? Okay. And I'm looking at this. Okay. And let me go back to MATLAB, right? Here. I made a mistake, I guess. I'm making a mistake. Come on. All right. Let's run this, right? This is the given A matrix. Okay. <clears throat> you can check that. And, and then let's recover R, R, E, F, right? Reduce echelon form row reduce echelon form here this is the thing that we determine in the this is of course i use matla for that by the way for the documentation that i showed you earlier right here we can see there are two pivot columns first and second so we will directly get the first column of the given original matrix a matrix and the second right okay and i'm looking at this this was the range space basis vectors right okay and and for the null space you can write this but also you can directly write this right this is again if you check the same vector that we determined all right this is for another example. Alright, thanks for watching.